Hi, this is Josh with Bedbug Supply. Today I want to show you how you can get rid of bedbugs in just four easy steps. This is a proven professional strength treatment process that can stop the biting from the very first night. Let's get started. First, you need to stop bedbugs from reaching in your bed. Your mattress, box spring, and bed frame are the most common hiding places for bedbugs, so it's the best place for you to start your treatment. Begin by stripping off your bedding from the mattress and bagging them in sealed garbage bags to prevent bedbugs from escaping and infesting other parts of your home. Take the bags directly to your washing machine. Carefully unload your bedding directly inside, taking care to reseal the bags, and wash using the hot water setting. Once that's done, dry the bedding on the high heat setting if possible. This will kill any bedbugs and eggs hiding in your sheets and covers. While your laundry cycle is running, remove your mattress and box spring from the bed frame, then use a vacuum to remove any bed bugs, shells, fecal droppings, or eggs that may be present along the seams and folds of your bed. While you could use most regular vacuums for this step, the preferred weapon of choice is a sealed HEPA PCO vacuum. These are designed specifically to collect bed bugs and their eggs into a sealed HEPA filter so that nothing gets out. After you're done going over the bed with the vacuum, you should follow up with a steamer. While the vacuum may have done a good job covering the surfaces of your bed, only a steamer can effectively penetrate deep inside your mattress, box spring, bed frame, headboard, and footboard to kill bed bugs and eggs hiding inside. Use the included cloth attachment to limit the moisture expelled and steam slowly all over your bed, paying close attention to seams and folds. Once your bed has been steamed and left to dry, spray the joints of the bed frame, headboard, and footboard with a contact spray, like Sterifab. This will kill bed bugs quickly and then evaporate, leaving no residual protection. So follow up with a residual spray to fill those cracks and crevices with a residue that will kill bed bugs for several weeks. After your bed has been fully treated and left to dry, use sealed and certified bed bug proof mattress casements and box spring casements, like these safe rests, to protect and seal off your bed. These will prevent bed bugs from entering or escaping your mattress, reducing the potential hiding places that they can reside in. Once your encasements have been applied, you can put the mattress and box spring back on your treated bed frame and put your clean and bed bug free bedding back on your bed. In step one, you treated your bed inside and out and made sure the bed bugs stay out of your mattress. However, bed bugs aren't just hiding in your bed. They're also likely in your furniture, your closet, even your walls or floors. Anywhere close enough for them to detect the carbon dioxide and body heat that you emit in your sleep. So the second step is to stop any bed bugs from climbing back into your bed looking for a meal. Let's start by isolating your bed from other points of contact. Bed bugs can't jump or fly, so they have to crawl up something to reach you. If your bed has hanging skirts, let's tuck those in and remove them. You should also remove any unnecessary pillows and any storage under the bed. And don't forget to move your bed away from the wall. Now that you've isolated the bed, the only way bed bugs can reach you while you sleep is by climbing up the legs. You can stop them by placing climb of interceptors under each leg. As bed bugs attempt to get to you, they will climb up the edge of the interceptor and then fall into this pitfall where they can't escape. With these straps in place, you can stop bed bugs from reaching you in your bed and monitor their population over time without being bitten. This is a critical part of the treatment as you're cutting off the infestation's food supply and inhibiting their reproduction and growth. Treating, encasing, isolating, and intercepting your bed does two important things. It creates a safe haven for you that bed bugs can't reach, and it allows you to act as a lure to bring bed bugs out from their hiding places and into the sprays and powders that will be applied in step four. Now that the bed is secure, you can move on to the common bed bug hiding places. Bed bugs are also found in your clothes, your furniture, walls, and floors. In this third step, we're gonna hit the bugs where they're hiding. First, remove any unnecessary clutter in the room. Things like clothes, shoes, and books give bed bugs a place to hide and makes treatment harder. Launder what you can in a dryer for at least 45 minutes using high heat settings if possible. Many personal belongings can't be laundered or steamed like books, papers, luggage, shoes, and dry clean only clothing. These can be treated with a portable bed bug heater like this zap bug. This heater will deliver lethal heat without damaging its contents. Treat deep cracks and crevices along your baseboards, window sills, and furniture with a vacuum cleaner. Then again with a high pressure steamer. Our bed bug steamers deliver steam that's over 180 degrees, enough to kill bed bugs and their eggs instantly. Many of them, like this Vapomore, even have a steam adjustment knob that allows you to control the flow of your steam. 
low power for direct surface steaming, or high power for deep penetration into walls and upholstered furniture. Remember to move the nozzle slowly, no more than about one inch per second, to ensure that all bed bugs are adequately exposed to the heat. By now you've covered most of the room with various treatment methods. Now you just need to hit the bed bugs that you may have missed previously and set up a long lasting defense to ensure the infestation is finished off. For our final step, you are going to use a combination of contact and residual sprays as well as a residual powder. First up are the contact sprays. These will kill bed bugs quickly but offer no long lasting protection. With that in mind, you want to make sure you hit bed bugs where they're hiding. So spray along baseboards, below drawers, behind nightstands, and on the cushions of upholstered furniture like sofas and chairs. Resist the temptation to spray all over the place. Bed bugs don't tend to hang around in open areas when they're not feeding, so this won't do you any good. Instead, focus your spray on tight spaces throughout your room that bed bugs are likely to be hiding in. Next are the residual sprays. Residuals won't kill as quickly as the contact sprays did, but they will be effective for much longer. Spray into cracks and crevices throughout the room, like in the corners of upholstered furniture, along baseboards, and along the edges of the carpet. Lastly, you want to use a residual powder for places that you couldn't use or sprays. Using a professional powder applicator, you can apply powder deep into cracks and crevices throughout the room, such as under appliances, in door frames, and along cracks where the wall meets the floor. You can also puff some powder behind the faceplates of electrical outlets and light switches. To prevent any surviving bed bugs or eggs from repopulating the area, you'll want to reapply your contact or residual sprays about two weeks after the initial treatment, then again two weeks after that, for a total of three applications. For the sake of convenience, we offer prepackaged bed bug kits containing all the sprays and powders that you'll need, along with a professional powder applicator, just like you see here. Regardless of what products you use, remember to always follow the product label and MSDS for safe and effective usage. If you followed all four steps, including the follow-up treatments in the last step, you'll be bed bug free now. To avoid future infestations, keep your bed encased, isolated, and intercepted, and use your portable heater to treat your luggage after coming home from trips. The best part about this process is that you own all of the items used once the treatment is done. This ensures that you have all the prevention tools you'll need to keep bed bugs away for good. All of the products you need for this treatment process are available at bedbugsupply.com. We offer low prices, free shipping, and expert support online or over the phone. If you have any questions, you can reach us via live chat at bedbugsupply.com or toll free seven days a week at 866-238-9868. Again, this is Josh at bedbugsupply.com.